All right, guys, you cannot, you cannot make this up. Nike is restricted again for new sellers on Amazon. Shit is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. So if you missed the whole drama with Nike, let me summarize the situation and everything that happened for you. All right. So a couple of months ago, you can literally ch check on my channel because I'm the only guy that does Amazon news like this, right? Amazon FBA news like this. So a couple of weeks ago, Nike got restricted for new sellers, all right? So uh, new sellers were not able to reapply to, 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 to sell Nike on Amazon. What happened is, uh, so, so what happened a couple of days ago, I think it was two to three days ago, it reopened. So Amazon, new Amazon sellers were, were able to re-upload, to re-ungate, to re-upload invoice to get and get it on, uh, for, for Nike, right? To request approval to sell Nike on Amazon again. Well, 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 um, anybody that did not apply during that time frame is now restricted. All right. So this is why I told you in the previous video, it's open again, apply quickly. And I did not think, and I think I said in that video, I did not think that it was actually get regated, right? Um, re regated I should say re-restricted. All right. Because, uh, it's back to what it was, uh, right before, but yeah, I'm sorry. It's re restricted. And is it the good news? Is it the bad news? Um, it's a good news for a lot of people because a lot of people are too are, are over reliant. And it should show you that with Amazon, you really cannot, uh, like, you really, you, you need to always find something else to sell, something else to. You should have a constant stream of new leads because we never know what can happen. And so uh, it looks like, hopefully, it's just a bug. Hopefully, it's just a bug. Or maybe the bug was that new sellers were re. Were re um, were able to actually re-upload, uh, re-request, I should put it like this. New sellers were able to re-request, um, re-request approval to sell Nike on Amazon, right? But let's check quickly, let's check, because we've seen a couple of sellers for who it was the case. Let's check quickly on Twitter to get... Yeah, so let's check Twitter quickly to see what people are, are, are saying about it. So um, it looks like we're going to run a couple of search to see what's going on. By the way, follow me on Twitter, okay, uh, if you're on, because there's going to be a huge giveaway on Twitter pretty soon. But let's look quickly at what people are saying on Twitter. Um, it looks like, so this guy... 21 hours ago, he was regated, but he was able to get ungated again. Uh, there are somebody on the Discord server that had some issues that haven't been able to, to be ungated again. Uh, but it looks like, yeah, people have been reported that they are gated again. Uh, and like, it's weird. So let's try another search to see. So yeah, it looks like a couple of people are talking about it, but most people haven't really realized that it is actually restricted again, which is actually crazy. Um, nobody is really, and I wrote it the wrong way. So let me just, maybe if I do this, Nike restricted. Uh, yeah, I mean, nobody has, nobody has really noticed it. Uh, Nike Art and Gates lifted this week. Yeah, so it was June 4th that it was lifted and it's back to, because yeah, it seemed like, by the way, it seemed like what happened is that you had to request a call. You had to add a call to have a call with uh, Amazon to be ungated for Nike. But maybe what's going on right now is that, is that there's a cap to the amount of people that can get ungated uh, when they can sell Nike on Amazon, you know? Um, it's, yeah, Nike opened up, but nobody, nobody has noticed that, nobody has noticed that it's actually restricted again, you know? Nobody has noticed it, and it's actually fucked up. But what can you do? So this is why you should always have a new stream of leads, because you never know what can happen, and so you should never be over-reliant on one brand. I mean, I'm fine, I can still sell Nike, a ton of people can still sell Nike, but I'm talking about, I'm talking to new sellers and to more advanced sellers as well. Um... Yeah, I mean, this is why you cannot be over-reliant on just one brand. You should always have a new stream of leads of a ton of different products, a ton of different leads, a ton of different brands, a ton of different websites as well. And this is the best way to, to, to run your online arbitrage business because I don't think that it is going to be restricted for sellers that have been selling them, but it looks like, at least it looks like ungating is starting to get a little bit harder for some brand and there's going to be quotas. I guess this is what's going on. I don't know if it's... um. If it's just a bug, 
I doubt it. It's probably yeah, it's probably a quota, and when we reach that quota, people cannot uh, cannot ungate anymore because it was already way harder to get ungate it in in Nike right before. So yeah, Amazon is really playing with you guys. I'm really sorry, uh, but good news for sellers that have been that have been selling on Amazon for a little while. It means that newbies are not going to jump on on Nike products, and a lot more Nike products are definitely going to be. Uh, more profitable right the price is not going to tank as much and whenever the number of sales because people are going to give up people are going to stop selling on amazon and all that stuff and so whenever that happens uh whenever that happens they are probably going to reopen so always be on the lookout and i think this is mainly what you should do right now be on the lookout for when it actually opens and whenever it opens do it fast okay do it fast make sure to do it fast get an invoice fast and submit everything to get your own gate uh and so yeah if you need to do one day shipping because it's not going to last for long all right it's not going to last for long check every single day when it opens do one day shipping or do store pickup go 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 pick up socks at i don't know go pick up nike socks at Foot Locker. okay get 10 of them you're gonna pay like 300 dollars but hey what you can do Get the email confirmation, submit it, and get and get it that way. All right, that's going to be what you have to do. There's nothing else that you can do. But um, if you are hoping to make money on Amazon selling Nike, what I would tell you guys to do is instead of doing that, next best next best thing is Walgreens. Get on the Walgreens train. Get on my list for Walgreens. Watch the video that I released a couple of days ago. Just type Chris Mangunza Walgreens, and you're gonna find this video. You know, it's. I mean. Nike is not the only brand that you can use to make money on Amazon. If you actually look at, uh, there's a ton of brands, there's a ton of other brands. You could do Adidas, there's a ton of Adidas products that you could sell, a ton of brands that you could sell. I don't even think that, yeah, Nike is definitely, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Nike is definitely one of the brands that I'm selling the most right now, that I've been selling the most since this summer okay before that i was not selling a lot of nike and i was still making so when i did uh all the videos that you can see how much money i made like in the last in the last um in the last year like when i did my monthly recap and i should do it again i should probably do it again i stopped doing it when i got back to the us because i've been focused i've not been focused that much on the amazon business if we are being honest i'm really trying to expand not on the whole part of the amazon business if we are being 100 percent honest but yeah like i was not selling i wasn't selling nike at all at that time and i was making good money right with amazon and so you can definitely make good money on amazon without nike so yeah i mean that's what you gotta do like if it's what you got to do. Just source other websites. Learn to source other websites. And you can definitely make money without Nike. All right. At this point, just check every single day to make sure that Nike actually... Uh, to, to, to double check when Nike opens up. When it does, do it fast. Apply fast. All right. So that's it for today's video. If you want to learn more, watch this video. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. Thank you for watching.